You are listening to Lone Star Community Radio on 104.5 KCZW LP Conroe and 106.1 KZCC LP Conroe and worldwide on IRLoneStar.com. your Monday going today. It's beautiful outside, about 71, 72 degrees, sunny. It's just a perfect Monday as you get back from spring break. Those of you who have been spring breaking it with your kids, your family, going on adventures. Well, it's time to get back to work because we're ready to get going. So we're at Conroe Culture News, downtown Conroe, Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1, and I'm your host, Margie Taylor. The guests today are going to be Jennifer Landers, Kathy Rafat with Christ Assistance Center, Brett Roloff, and Vanessa Figueroa with Costco Networking Extravaganza coming up one month from today. And then we're ending it up with Kristen Bays, and she will be the judge of the 284th Court. So those are some fun things that are going on, uh, but there's much, much more. So if you don't know, the Shakespeare Festival will be happening. The third annual Shakespeare Festival will be happening out at Founders Plaza uh, to the corner of Metcalf and Main by the Owen Theater this Saturday from 9 to 6. That is March 24th, and there's going to be plays, food trucks, artisans, traveling as Eliza, Eliza, how do you say that, Elizabethan characters? How often do you say that? <laughs> and several acts presented on the Founders Plaza stage, all free. There's going to even be a ventriloquist a Battle of the Bands competition. There's going to be a Texas Brass Ensemble. There's going to be a special song and dance from the Owens' upcoming production of Kiss Me, Kate, which is a Shakespeare production, by the way. And then there's also going to be Romeo and Juliet and the Merry Wives at Windsor. So there's going to be a photo booth, story time, other activities for kids, So it's going to be a lot of fun. And again, that is this coming Saturday, all day from 9 to 6. The story time starts at 9.30 with a children's read-along. The Kiss Me Kate play will be at 10. There's going to be a combat demonstration with sword fighting. Yes. Again, how often have you seen a sword fight? That's going to be at 10.30 in the morning. Uh, the ventriloquist is at 11. Then uh, there's going to be the sword fighting again at noon and have lunch. There's food trucks there. There's music. There's more story times in the afternoon. Romeo and Juliet. And winding up with a 4 o'clock performance of the Merry Wives of Windsor. So lots of fun things going on. Also on the 24th. Uh, there is at the Under Over Fellowship uh, at 600 South Fraser. there will be a family-free event with moonwalks, vendors, food, games. I mean, you could just play all day. And if the weather's like this, why not? Go out and enjoy yourself. These are all free, fun events. So uh, this is called Reaching the Darkness, Soldiers in, of Christ Arise. So this is a group of people that uh, go out and uh, help different organizations with uh, things they need, whether it's transportation or building a ramp for wheelchairs or things like that. So go and check that out. Uh, Again, that's at the Under Over Fellowship at 600 South Fraser Street with free parking and all that. So what else is going on? Well, we have the normal Thursday night venues. Uh, March 22nd, Buck Yeager will be singing at Red Brick Tavern. Davin James will be doing a special show at the Corner Pub. And the new offenders will be at Pacific Yard House. All free, by the way, and all within walking distance. Friday night, March 23rd, Vance Gilbert will be at the Red Brick Tavern. Justin Dias, uh, Song Swap will be at the Corner Pub. The Grams will be at Pacific Yard House. And, of course, you do not want to miss the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee at the Owen Theater. I saw that yesterday afternoon at the matinee. It was very entertaining. It was a different kind of a musical play. Uh, But they take four people from the audience to be part of the live performance show. So anything can happen. And it was that's actually really made it fun and interesting. 
So go go and see that. That's uh, Friday at 8 p.m. and Saturday at 8 p.m. And they do not have, I think they do have a matinee performance Sunday. They also have that at 2 p.m. So uh, Pat Waters will be at the Red Brick Tavern Saturday night. Field of Bronze will be at the Corner Pub. Travis Parker will be at Pacific Yard House. And Sunday, wind it up. Before you go to the matinee at the Owen Theater, go have Sunday brunch at uh, Gospel Sunday brunch at the Red Brick Tavern. So those are the uh, fun things that are going on this week. And uh, we're going to just roll into our first guest today. So that will be Kathy Rafat and Jennifer Landers. They are part of the leadership team at Crisis Assistance Center. Hey, ladies. Hello, Margie. Thank you for having us today. <laughs> Beautiful day today, it is. isn't it? So pretty. So Crisis Assistance Center used to be called Montgomery County Emergency Assistance. It's been around serving the county for a long time, and you really got to get your hands dirty this past August with what's known as Harvey, the little friend that came by to visit. So how's it going since Harvey? We've um, been steadily busy since Harvey. Uh, what a lot of people may think is Harvey has come and gone, but we're still really kind of in the middle of everything with folks. Now the biggest thing is getting people back into their homes that have been repaired, furniture back, you know, in place. And of the unmet needs portion of everything so mattresses and the things you just don't get appliances everywhere else so right now most folks are moving back in um, but we do still have a few families that are still in uh, temporary mm. housing and hotels and that kind of stuff so um, other than harvey we're still serving montgomery county the same way you know so we're still helping with immediate needs uh, with basic needs whether that is financial assistance with food or clothing utilities rent or mortgage and then we also have our hand up program as well and then our housing program so we're still busy 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 our numbers have increased because we've seen a lot of folks that had a crisis after harvey whether or not they oh, lost sure. their house they had lack of job during the time that the businesses were closed or some of those businesses never reopened so trying to help them find new employment and move forward and stay stable has been you know one of our tasks well, Kathy, there's a lot of organizations that partner with Crisis Assistance Center, too, aren't there? Like, yes. yes. What, what are some of those? Like, I know uh, the, the Homeless Coalition partners with you guys. The Lions Club helps with uh, vision screening and mm -hmm. eyeglasses. And I, I know Entergy is very committed to helping. And I know they're also helping with, with your luncheon that's coming up. Right. But they, right. They also have an ongoing partnership with yes. you guys power to help to power with to care program. yes tell tell everybody about the power to care program so power to care um is entergy's program and what a lot of people don't know and it's something that i found out when i first started working with this is it started as an employee program so the employees really do drive a lot of that to help um, raise the funds and help serve the uh, community so that money that is raised they have different fundraisers they do throughout the year but it helps serve those um, that are elderly or disabled in assistance for their utilities. So to ensure that in the months that are extremely hot, extremely cold, or just when something may not be working right at their house and they have a spike in their bill, it really is important to Entergy to help, you know, those clients and help them stay stable so they partner with us uh, and other organizations throughout uh, Texas to do that. And so we will then... Um, dispense those funds to serve those clients and make sure they're not having to choose between food and utilities or food, you know, or, or utilities and a prescription. So the hard choices that, that a lot of people sometimes really those on face. fixed income have to sure. make if they have random spikes that they're not used to paying. So and so the partnership works where they collect the funds, they give the funds to our organization. And then when the, the customers call Entergy, Entergy refers them to come see us. And then while while they're in our facility, we're able to identify some additional needs that we might be able to help them with, in addition to the electricity bill. Mm -hmm. so. What a lot of people may not realize about Crisis Assistance Center is that you serve the entire county, Correct. right? That's right. Correct. That's pretty unique, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think we are the only organization providing this type of service that serves the whole county. A lot of times... Um, when they're doing that it's very zip code restrictive and a lot of that is just to make sure the funds can you know spread or that's where the funding is for and so we really are the only ones that still serve the entire county 
right? And then the services include um, meeting some immediate basic needs, but also um, something unique that that Crisis Assistance Center offers is the case management, long term, helping them with a long term solution. You know, till so they it's get not back just a band aid fix. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's another reason that they're having these issues. Right. So, so but we have both available. Some people need just that that little get over the, a small hump, and some people need a little bit more support. And how do they get these services? It is all free, right? The services that Correct. you offer. Yes. Uh, supplied through donations, grants, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So if somebody were needing assistance, how would they get it? The best way to do it, you can go to our website, which is www.cac-mctx.org, and there is a link that tells you everything you would need for your first appointment. It also has our appointment line, um, and you can call the appointment line and make you know, an appointment at any point in time, and that number is 936 Five three nine nine two one one, and you're very close. You're right here in Conroe. Um, now I forget the address. Ten twenty two McCall. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the CVS Center. Right. Kind of like if you went there, you, all you have to do is just go on that other little street over there, and there it is. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, what's going to be the expanded downtown Conroe area? Pretty soon. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, you know, you have a lot of other things that you offer there. I know you have a pantry, right, Kathy? That's right. We have a food pantry. And, and something else that makes uh, Crisis Assistance Center unique is the food pantry is a client choice food pantry. So as several of the food pantries throughout the county and really in, throughout the country, um, they utilize volunteer hours and, and man hours to prepackage groceries. Um, and when the customers come or the clients come in for assistance, they get a prepackaged set of groceries. You get what you get. Here's yeah. your bag, here's Which, your box, and, whatever. And a lot of times that's the, the best way for efficiency-wise. But we're able to offer, uh, it's a setup like a, a mini grocery store. And the clients um, are escorted through our food pantry, and they get to select the items that they want. And so it reduces waste, for one thing. Absolutely. But it also, um, it has a lot of very positive effects on the clients themselves. They get an opportunity um, to really, it empowers them to make some more decisions. And, and we've had a couple of comments, you know, just even in the past couple of weeks that the, the clients are going through and they're, they're with our staff and they're like, gosh, I just, I, it's so nice to feel normal. And so that's, that's a really a great thing that we're able to do too. You know, we're always trying to make sure that we maintain um, integrity and, and uh, respect for all of our clients. Self-respect, I, I love that. Yeah. Um, of course, I have worked there in the past yes, too, mm -hmm. and it just keeps getting better on the services that's provided throughout the county. Mm -hmm. And that is unique, that it's a client choice pantry. Mm -hmm. Do you all still have a garden out there? Do you have a garden? That Actually, I'm glad with? you brought that up. We, <laughs> With our partnership with Texas AgriLife, we have had a garden for many years that kind of went dormant for a little while. And our um, hand up program is about to pick that up and start uh, the garden again so that we can ensure that we are having more produce. Uh, we do get a lot of produce, especially with uh, Keep Us Fed Montgomery County. They help bring a lot of stuff over to us as well. But now we'll be able to provide more produce for our own pantry through that garden. So we're very excited about that. Nice. Keep Us Fed, that was the uh, project from my LMC group. Yeah. That's a very good project. <laughs> Which there. was on the front page right. of the paper. Too. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, just had to throw that They're in. doing a great so. job over there. <laughs> But we have uh, frozen meat products and uh, milk, eggs, dairy products as well that we um, incorporate into the selection that get. the clients get. See, yeah. that's nice. So that is fresh food as well. As it's not always available. So when you can do that, that's a right. great asset right. with the fresh uh, dairy, meat. Um, I, I know generally at the fairgrounds you get a donation of meat too mm -hmm. from different sponsors, mm -hmm. whether it's. Buckaloo or Wood Forest mm -hmm. or one of them because it, it it's all about the community and people helping community. And I know you have an ongoing need for volunteers Correct. all the time. Yes. Whether it's donations or uh, just people to come in and help at the pantry or, I mean, don't you get donations? You were saying you give away furniture and clothing and right. things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're always needing um, not just volunteers in the food pantry to help, but we also need volunteers in the unique resale shop. Um, which is one thing that we also have, but we sell furniture, sell clothing, sell kitchen items, anything through the resale shop, but we also voucher them out. So our clients who are in need of clothing or shoes or any of that kind of stuff can go and, get, and turn their voucher into our resale shop 
and so we need we need uh, volunteers, excuse me, in there to help the clients, and then also to process the donations as they come in, get everything on the floor and ready to go, and then general office work as well. We utilize um, folks throughout the day. Yeah, and then back to the resale shop, our unique resale shop. Also, this is very noteworthy. We have a box truck, and we'll actually come and pick up donations, furniture, and, and uh, even appliances. Did yes. you get a so, new truck? We did, thanks to the Montgomery <laughs> County Community Foundation. <laughs> nice. You guys were needing that we for were very a much long so. time. And I didn't know if you blessing. had it yet. Yes, so. it, it, it's been a blessing. Wow. Mm -hmm. We've put our Great. first 1,000 miles on it already. And wow. Have Not been all surprising. over the place. So, yeah. so if somebody wanted to have... Uh, Items picked up. Is there a place online where they could do that, or they make a phone the call? The best thing or? is to make a phone call right now, okay. and um, our resale shop director will call them. And the number for that would be 936 539 1096. And uh, Amber can set up a pickup time for them, and somebody will come to their house, load it, you know, and nice. it makes it very easy. And then we benefit from it because we can either um, voucher it out to our clients or sell it in the resale right. shop and all of those funds from the resale shop go right back into our programs. That's nice. Okay, so if somebody wants to volunteer or donate, they can go online or call the numbers, mm -hmm. the 1096 number. Mm -hmm. And if it's there's some, if they need assistance, whether it's food, clothing, appointment to come in, uh, you prefer they make an appointment instead of coming in, correct? Preferably, because that gives us time to put them with a case manager and really assist them. So that number is the 936-539-9211, correct? Right. Okay, awesome. All right, so let's talk about your legacy luncheon coming up. Okay, let's do. Let's do. <laughs> okay, who wants to tell me about it? Kathy, you want to go first? <laughs> sure. So um, we're having our 2018 legacy luncheon. will be held on April 6th. Uh, 11 o'clock to 1 or 1.30. We're, we're saying 1.30. <laughs> Liberally, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Liberally. Um, registration starts at 10.30. So we have uh, sponsorships and individual tickets still available. And um, so, again, back on our, our website, you can do uh, registration on the website, or you can just contact me directly um, at Kathy, K-A-T-H-Y, at cac-mctx.org, and I'll be more than happy to get you some information about the event. Um we're taking this opportunity to recognize some uh, outstanding community partners that have supported CAC for so long um, and have really just made a big difference in, in the uh, effect that we can have in change, making a positive difference in people's lives. So what um, our recipients for this year, the Legacy Award will be going to uh, the late Mr. John Wiesner, um, who, you know, has been fantastic has spent his whole lifetime, uh, you know, doing wonderful things in the community. Very we philanthropic. Were, uh, very mm -hmm. philanthropic, and NCAC was one of the uh, fortunate beneficiaries mm -hmm. of, of his generosity. Mm -hmm. um, our corporate partner is Entergy Texas, and we have two faith partners we're recognizing this year, the April Sound Church and the First Methodist Church of Conroe. Um, and then we have an individual volunteer that we're recognizing, very special uh, man that uh, is a regular volunteer for us now. Um, and his name is Harold Campbell, um, and so we have a very special story um, from him. I don't know if Jennifer wants to say a few words about that, but we'll be talking about him at the luncheon as well. And then we're very, very excited about our keynote speaker is going to be Dr. Rick Rigsby. And um, actually, I know that Jennifer actually it was a professor of hers at when she went when she attended A and M. Yes, so. Dr. Rigsby is my mentor, my friend, and I'm so so thrilled to have him and. Very if inspirational. If you do not leave inspired that day, that's because you fell asleep, and I don't think that's going to be possible. <laughs> I mean, he is just phenomenal. Um, he has, he's gone viral, actually, with, you know, some of his videos of his commencement speech. I think now it was like 130 million views that he's I think received. I saw that, and so, I saw that it had been shared quite a few times, Yes, too. I mean, he is just phenomenal. So I really think he has a lot um, to talk about, especially in relation to our mission and to just helping in the community. And so I think it will be a fabulous day, not just to honor, but just to hear him as well. Mm -hmm. So please well, Wonderful. Out. And that's coming up April 6th. April that's 6th, just like right around the corner. Few weeks away. Right after Easter. Boom. There it is. Yep. And that's on a Friday. Friday. It's on a Friday. Friday, April okay. 6th, uh, 11 o'clock. And um, that'll be at the uh, Palmer Course, on the, the course. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Woodlands Country Club mm -hmm. in the Woodlands. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What else? What else can you tell us? 
What What's else? your position over at con at the uh, Crisis Assistance Center? Oh, well, I, uh, I'm i the Director of Development. Okay. Yes. So I've been there just a few months, so go ahead. It's okay. you got to hit the ground running, right? Isn't that how it goes, Jennifer? That is. <laughs> baptism by fire or hurricane. I mean, One of when, the two. <laughs> when did you start with Crisis Assistance Center? I started Center? June. Okay, the right before August. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so we were... Surprised. Yes. Yes. Totally moved in by the time. <laughs> well, I'm very but excited for you guys. Uh, you've got a great team. We do. And uh, the future is all yours. Mm -hmm. And you will make it happen. Uh, I can already see lots of wonderful things going on. Thank you. Great. Thank, so, thank you so much. Absolutely. So all this information can be found at cac-mctx.org. They also have a Facebook page. So all the information about their luncheon, about appointments, volunteers, donations, phone numbers, all that can be on their website or just Google Crisis Assistance Center and it will all come up. Yes. Thank you, ladies. We're going to take a quick break and be back with Brett Roloff and Vanessa Figueroa with the Costco Networking Extravaganza. Perfect. Thank you, Margie. Hey guys, this is Connor. This is Dick. This is Chris. And we're with the Ticket Stub Podcast every Thursday live at noon on 104.5 and 106.1 FM in the Conroe area. Also, anytime at IRLoneStar.com. You go to IRLoneStar.com backslash TTS. You can find all of our social media. And don't forget, we give away two tickets to the Grand Theater on every show. If you like movies and you like complaining or celebrating anything that has to do with the silver screen, check out the Ticket Stub Podcast and join us every Thursday at noon o'clock on Lone Star Community Radio. Don't forget to download the Lone Star Community Radio app for your Google Play or Apple Store. Bring Montgomery County's Community Radio with you anywhere with your smartphone or tablet. If you are in the Conroe area, tune in on FM. That is Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. And we're back at Conroe Culture News at Lone Star Community Radio, FM 104.5, 106.1, downtown Conroe. I'm your host, Margie Taylor, for this uh, hour of entertainment. And uh, we just heard from Kathy Rafat and Jennifer Landers about uh, Crisis Assistance Center. And now, sitting in the hot seat, we have Brett Roloff and Veronica Figueroa. And they are the Costco team, but they're here to tell us about much more than just Costco. Welcome, guys. Hi. Thank you, Margie. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. So what is coming up one month from today? Wow, it is one month from today. I know. Time flew by so fast. Really too fast. Well, one month from today is the North Houston Networking Extravaganza. So if you're from this area and you own a business, you might be uh, familiar with it. So why don't you tell us what happened last year at the North Houston Networking Extravaganza, Veronica? Well, every year it gets bigger and bigger. And I know you've attended uh, quite a few of our All events, of them. Margie. <laughs> and um, we double in size. So it's a networking, a true networking event. Um, we invite all of the business community out a great way to connect, shake hands, meet face-to-face, one-on-one, and introduce yourself to other businesses. It's very friendly. Very friendly. Very low-key. Mm -hmm. You know, anybody is welcome. It's a, it's a great opportunity. To Everybody's get welcome. Yes. All you need to get in is your business card, proving that you're with a local business. We look for um, to keep it really low-key and comfortable, so it's an easier, comfortable environment for people to meet others and to network in. We also have a lot of really great speakers that we bring out. And uh, the great thing about our event is that it's a little bit different. Where we have speakers, they only speak for a, a portion of the time, and the bulk of the time is actually geared towards networking and actually meeting everyone in the room. Um, so I'll touch a little bit on the speakers. So this time around, um, we have uh, Monette Smith emceeing. So she's going to be you know, hyping the crowd up, making sure that we're all talking to each other. And then we also have um, Bob Milner. He spoke at our very first event, right? Uh, no, actually, the second, second one. It was the second one. <laughs> <laughs> We're so keeping tabs now, here, so you many know. That we've had. So this is the fourth, right? This, this is, is the, the fourth, fourth okay. event. And the reason we asked Bob back is he's actually retired now. So we thought it'd be a great time to bring him back. And uh, he is probably going to talk about a few different things going on in his life and what's going on in the business community than he did last time. Yeah, he's got such a presence in the community. So we're really excited about that. And then we also have um, Chad Patterson, um, Zach Richmond, and of course our, our local 
superstar, Steve Scott, the Houston business coach. I love Steve. Steve is awesome. He always has Steve a great awesome. story. I heard he has over 300 stories that he tells. Yes, he rotates them, and he makes sure he, he uh, targets the audience. He tailors it to them. There uh, you go. Nice. Good yes. job there. Now, he's, he's very uh, approachable, uh, has great insight, because he's worked with people all over the country and internationally mm -hmm. to help develop their businesses. He's actually also been hired by Costco once and went out. Really? Costco flew him out oh, to yeah, another location. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is a true story. We flew him out to El Paso. Well, it was, I'm sure it was very worthwhile for Costco. Oh, definitely. <laughs> you know, definitely. I mean, I love hearing his stories. That he embraces the truth and makes you really uh, inspired and think about what he's saying very deep. So, uh, and makes it relative to you. Definitely. He's been the one um, constant in all our events. He's actually spoke at all our events. He's our final speaker. He usually closes down the speakers he's with a, good a nice story. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. So but one thing we also have this year that we haven't had in the past is all the community support. Um, now that everyone's gotten used to the event, they've watched it grow. Uh, a lot of people have come out to the event and actually checked it out. And if they haven't, they've uh, seen the photos and the video footage afterwards. So this year we have a, lo a great lineup of sponsors, including Margie Taylor here with mm -hmm. Taylor SPR, <laughs> Hello Woodlands, Minuteman Press, um, Woodland Hit Woodlands Hits Radio, Nebular Films, Inspire Productions, PR Luxury Media, and of course the Conroe, Lake Conroe Chamber of Commerce. So it's great to get all of their support. Yeah, we, love, we like to thank all the sponsors this year. Um, they play a big part in promoting and helping it become and grow what it has to been today. So. Right. And the, you know, and the sponsors really chip in where, um, where, you know, we really need the most help is what we do is we keep it a free event, and our sponsors help us do that by providing services that uh, normally we'd have to pay for. So... We're able to keep it free to the community. We provide mm -hmm. refreshments. We're expecting probably close to 400 businesses to come out probably this so. next time. It's going to be jamming, I'm sure. It's going to be really jamming. And if you're missing it, you're really going to be missing out on something We're going to have to push, push the walls a little further out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to make some magic happen for sure. Uh, we're actually Absolutely. working on that right now. It's been a big issue uh, as, you know, we don't have a crystal ball and we don't do an RSVP, so we kind of play it by ear and get a feel on the streets on what's really going to happen with the event. So I have a feeling this one's really going to go off the hook. I I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. So I'm very excited about it. I've been telling people about it, not just on social media, but deliberately when I see right. them. And uh, we handed out a lot a lot of those flyers at the after hours with the Conroe Chamber last week, and they were gone, like within oh, minutes. I could have awesome. had 50 of them. <laughs> and so I need to get more to start passing those out. But people are very excited because they get to get out and meet other people. And it's all, it, it's not cliquish. It's very friendly. And you will see a lot of people you know, but you'll see a lot of people you don't know. That's one so, thing we pride ourselves mm -hmm. on. We actually, I believe, have the most diverse networking event in the area on top of the largest. Because we pull in people from Conroe, Woodlands, Magnolia, and uh, a lot of people that aren't actually networking with a lot of these other people. They, a lot of people tend to network in their small groups. And we tend to bring all these different groups in together. Very diversified. I know some people that are coming from East Montgomery County, too, because I invited them. Oh, wow. And they're coming. I mean, it's not that far, just down 242. Yeah. You're actually pretty centrally located. That's the best for part. For a lot of mm -hmm. opportunities for people to meet and greet. So I, I'm sure that everybody needs to come early and stay late. What time does it start? It's from 5 to 8 p.m. We've actually extended it an hour this year because it's gotten to be so big. And with so many people, you do need that extra time. Um, even though it's Costco casual, it will be a red carpet event again this year. And um, the other thing I want to throw out there is if you are a business and you're looking to get your promotional items out there, we are accepting promotional items from businesses that we will put in our goodie bags. Even though we're expecting uh, close to 400 people, we are going to make 300 goodie bags. Uh, all we ask is we get those materials by April 12th yeah. so we can put everything together properly. Okay. And you could actually reach us at nhextravaganza at gmail.com. And that is how you would ask us any questions about the event or let us know that you're wanting to provide any materials. So once again, that's nhextravaganza at gmail.com. Okay. And have you made an event for this on Facebook that you've shared? Well, there's quite a few events going around. You just so. have to find out one of these sponsors, and I'm sure everybody has 
posted it around. I know I've seen it oh, uh, yeah. multiple yeah. times. It's flooding around. Every time I seem to do a post, and I did one this morning, um, just shortly after I did my post this morning, I know it had already been shared three times uh, right, a, right away off the bat. So it's going around. I'm actually getting a lot of emails at the event email site asking questions about it. I've been getting a lot more friends on my Facebook wanting to be friends because of this event. And uh, lots going on with it. So I'm really excited to see really kind of how it transpires this time because, like I said, we have no crystal ball. We just kind of go Oh, it'll flow. be fabulous. So last time, uh, that was in October? October, yes. October, yes. you had Mattress Mac, Mac and Vale from Gallery Furniture, and he came and spoke about Harvey recovery and the community, how it all came together and relationships, and it was very spot on. It was really spot on, and, um, you know, things just kind of happened that way. We actually asked Mac about five months yeah. in advance to speak for us, as we try to do with a lot of our speakers, mm -hmm. um, and everything just kind of happened the way it did, but it was awesome to have Mattress Mac come out. And, uh, you know, even for our next one in October, we already have a great guest speaker. I'm not going to let it out of the bag yet, but it's uh, going to be incredible in October. Oh, fabulous. Yeah, Mattress Mac did so much for the community, so we were very honored to um, have him there. And just the stories that he told and his charisma, I mean, on stage, it's just amazing. It kind of, like, filters through the crowd. So whoever whoever went last year, I mean, you got a great experience for sure, and we're hoping for another great experience with Bob being our lead speaker. Well, and the thing about all these people that are involved, it isn't just about their business. It's no. about the relationship. So if you look more deeper into that, you will see that that is the thing, the glue that puts them all together and which makes them different. Uh, Mattress Mac, Gallery Furniture, they've been very giving, not just during Harvey, always. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And they're very customer service oriented. I remember we were looking for furniture many, many years ago, my husband and I, and we went out there on a 4th of July and uh, we didn't see what we wanted. We didn't get the service we wanted he called us back at our house and personally invited us to come back out and worked with us to get us what we needed and delivered it that oh, day wow. so you know walk a, the walk yeah mm -hmm. he's an incredible you know? businessman and humanitarian he's kind of just the well-rounded package absolutely but uh, this goes for all of the people that you have involved with this and that's what makes it different is that these people all care about the community Yes, they have a business that they work with, but it's deeper than that. It's about the relationships and what they bring to the community and how they all work together. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. we do that on purpose because, you know, the theme of the event has always been the same. We've never changed it. The theme of this event is always community, building business relationships, and leadership. Um, those are the three topics that we ask any of our speakers to speak on. And because this is a community event. It's uh, not about business at all. It's about coming out, building business, building relationships within the community, and actually building a relationship with the community. Mm -hmm. So we, we invite all of you out there, if you're a business owner or a community leader or leader in your business, come on out, bring your business cards, bring a friend, have a great time. So it is April 19th. From 5 to 8 p.m. at Costco at 242 in the Woodlands. Do you want to say anything about Costco? <laughs> this is about the event. Okay. Uh, Costco yeah, will I don't speak know. for itself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we try to keep the two totally okay. separate because I, we want just this to really I'd be ask. a community <laughs> event. So, and in the future, what's going on? You have the October event after this, and we'll talk about that later in yes. October. Yes, just we've already got our main speaker locked okay. in, and it's going to be a good one, so don't miss We're it. We're excited. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Brett and uh, Veronica, and we appreciate it, and we look forward to seeing you on April 19th. I'm Margie Taylor, your host, and we'll be right back. Hey, Montgomery County, it's me, C.C. Holmes, and I would personally like to take this time to invite you, that's right, you, to join me every Saturday and Sunday from 3 until 7 p.m., where I will bring you the very best, the very best of smooth jazz, classic jazz, and indeed, yes, the soulful sounds of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So come along and get jazzy with me. That's right, jazzy. <laughs> right here, of course, on Conroe's 104.5 and 106.1 FM or worldwide at IRLongstar.com. A Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's radio station with talk, 
music, weather, and traffic for Montgomery County. Have a question or comment about one of our shows? Want to know how to reach a host? Just contact the station at IRLoneStar.com or call in and leave a message at 936 647 3776. Get involved with your community with Lone Star Community Radio. And we are back at Conroe Culture News, Lone Star Community Radio, downtown Conroe, on this beautiful, sunny, 72 degree Monday afternoon. So uh, we are rolling into the last, but one of the best guests, Kristen Bays, who is very familiar with this show. And she was actually a sponsor of the show since Christmas. And I think that's probably what helped her. But she's going to tell you more about that. But before uh, I have her talk about that, I wanted to mention that Walk Across Texas starts uh, right after Easter, April 1st through May 27th. And you can find out about Walk Across Texas at walkacrosstexastamu.edu. And that's with Texas AgriLife, and Amy Ressler is the uh, local rep out on uh, Airport Drive by Lone Star Convention Center. You can walk by yourself. You can walk with your neighbors. You can walk with other judges. <laughs> yeah, you can walk with politicians. You can have a team. It can be corporate, but it's all about walking and getting healthy. So I wanted to mention that, walk across Texas, or you can just walk across Montgomery County. It doesn't matter. So uh, here today is Kristen Bays. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Margie. So it's been fun, huh? It's been really fun. Well, I, it really looks like good. you've been eating more, so that's good. <laughs> that's a good thing. So where were you last week? Last week, I went to Disney World. Of course, that's what you do when you win. That's what you do. That, that, that's what the ads say. So I just thought, well, I'll take the hint. What a fun time. It was. was it just pretty free-flowing? Just you felt like a free spirit? and Yes, absolutely. All of those things. I went with my daughter, Ashley. Shout out to Ashley. And we just went and did it upright. It was incredibly crowded. Spring break at Disney World. Imagine. But it was it was <clears throat> great. Everything about it was just great. Was the weather good? The weather was fantastic. It really was. How fun. I mean, welcome to Florida, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you haven't been on since before, the day before the election, mm -hmm. and you killed it. <laughs> I, you know, I did. And <laughs> you did. Yeah, you did. Uh, I mean, and I'm a fan, so well, thank you. I, I think it's wonderful. But yeah, it was 96 uh, polling locations, and I won all 96, Woo which was very exciting. And I, really, a thank you to all the people who supported me, encouraged me, voted for me. Just, it was just a matter of a huge team effort, with Margie being a critical part of the team, and. It just, that's how it ended. So I will be sworn ended. in on January 1 as the next judge of the 284th District. Now Board. explain to people why um, you've got it. Well, I have no Democratic opponent. So on the ballot in November, I will be the only name listed. So as long as I vote for myself, I'm in. Yes, you just need one vote. That's right. That's it. And so, you'll probably get more than that. Well, I, I would hope I would, that I, I would. I would imagine. But, but I will definitely be so, voting for myself. So <laughs> Yay. So that's the 284th court, which is a civil cases court. That's right. And you have been doing this for over 24 years. That's correct. See, I just know the whole deal. You do. <laughs> you know all the details. And uh, you're very excited because you're the most qualified person to be. Obviously, everybody else thinks that as well. So... Um, Aren't you excited? Excited doesn't even begin to describe <laughs> it. I don't think there is an adjective that can adequately describe just the feeling. That, I mean, it was happy. It was it was tearful. It was relieved. It was excited, enthusiastic. I, I don't know. Just lots of happy adjectives. And then you multiply that by 10. And that's pretty much how it felt. So when you're walking around downtown Conroe, when you go out to lunch, people will say, hey, Judge. People have actually done that, and it's just, it's sort of Is weird. It weird. Well, I look over my shoulder to see who they're talking to at first. <laughs> How exciting. It and you is. get to wear like a black robe. A black robe and, and a gavel and the whole thing. So Are you going to practice <laughs> with the gavel? I might have practiced a little bit Maybe you'll bit have more. a video about it. that. <laughs> That's right. Here's how you use a gavel. <laughs> so if you don't know, Kristen has weekly Wednesday videos. Yes, when well, we're on a little bit of a hiatus, a little bit of a break, so basically we, we won't be doing reruns, but you can always <laughs> check out what You what can still watch them again. That's right, anytime you want. 
Um, binge watching is, is absolutely encouraged. Binge watching. <laughs> but um, when we come back, and, and I will be coming back, and when that happens, we've got some surprises for the viewers, and I think it'll be really fun. It'll be some backstage transition stuff. That You did mention that before. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so it'll be good. It'll it, be good. It sounds like it's going to be some education involved. I think there as will well. be, and it'll. I think it'll be fun because I think it'll kind of give the people in this community an opportunity to sort of see the mechanics, kind of truly backstage, and just kind of see how the sausage is made. But it won't be gross, so it'll <laughs> all be good. Well, that's good. So you also have a fundraiser coming up. I do. I do. It's on the 27th, which is a Tuesday night. It starts at 5 o'clock. It's at the Pacific Yard House, which is a great Downtown venue. Conroe. Downtown Conroe, absolutely. Okay. And uh, we're having Johnny and the Spensations come Oh, my gosh. I know, right? It's Yes. It's, now, if, if you're all thinking, who John is? John Boucher. Yes. Now, anyone out there who's Shout thinking, out, who John. is that? Come, you you will not be disappointed. Oh They're yes, fantastic! And he John played... Boucher won too, by the way. He yes, he did. Chair for precinct thirty out at uh, Oak Ridge. Uh huh. That's right. How awesome! Yeah, yeah, that will be a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm going to miss that. Darn it all! Are you going to miss that? I am going to be oh, out. Margie. Out. Oh. All right. Okay. You fine. know, we'll doing my own Disney back. World thing. <laughs> but uh, yes, he was playing at the Woodlands Resort Saturday night, yeah. and I so much wanted to go. Uh, he is just a lot of fun, and he gets yes. the crowd involved, and there's dancing, and there's familiar music, and wow, that's so it'll great. Be great. It'll just be a whole Darn lot of it fun. All. So, well, you need to do a video from there. You know, that's a great idea. You should. We'll do a little Facebook Live. Yeah, maybe you need to be on the stage with him. Yeah, I think that's a really bad idea, but I, <laughs> we'll see what John you know, decides to do. <laughs> I'm thinking he's going to like that. I may call him and tell him. Oh, yeah. Well, um, John, if, if you're listening, don't take Margie's call. Nobody wants me on stage. Oh. Oh, no. I see. I see what's happening <laughs> oh, now. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it could be great. So tell me about Disney World. What oh. was your favorite? Oh, the Avatar thing. They have a whole section of the park at Animal Kingdom now, and it's devoted to Avatar. And they have two rides in particular that are pretty special. Uh, in the bottom position is this riverboat ride, and it's just spectacular. I mean, it's like being in the movie with all these crazy creatures and the animatronics, and it's, it's stellar. It makes you feel like you're on another planet. But then, but then there's the flight ride. And it was so funny because people were posting on my Facebook page, if you missed that ride, you haven't made the trip. <laughs> so I did not miss that ride. I only got to ride it once, and once was clearly not enough. It was just unbelievable. It was this breathtaking adventure where you're riding on a banshee, if you haven't seen the movie, it's, you know, a creature. Uh -huh. And, I mean, this thing that you're sitting on, you can feel your banshee breathing against your thighs like a real animal. And there's <laughs> smells and wind. All and the sensory. All of it. Yeah, all sensations. It. So well, Dis what, Disney knows how to do it right. Absolutely. Well, being a uh, girl from Burbank, I know about Disney. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, yes, I do. And Disneyland was our hangout at least twice a year. Oh, wow. Back, back in the fun. day. Uh, but I haven't been to Disney World since uh, my 33-year-old son was three. Well, you need so, to go. So, yes. Yes, I do. And I'm not going there next week, but uh, someday. 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 So yeah. it's really nice that you were able to take the opportunity to go spend it with your daughter and just be stress-free. Yes. You know, isn't that such a nice feeling? It Especially is. when you ride rides. It's kind of like the best sensation ever. <laughs> <I know. laughs> it's like, go science. Yay for the engineers. And it's it's kind of like floating kind of thing. It absolutely I get is. that. So it's great. That, that's wonderful. So uh, tell me, I'll, tell me some more about being judged. What What are your thoughts? Well, being judged is, is pretty much uh, the direct opposite of being at Disney World. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's all the structure and everything. More stress and tension and <laughs> discipline, and um, but it, it that's going to be its own exciting adventure. Um, the people come to the court. Everybody who is there, their case is pretty much the most pressing thing that's happening in their lives at that moment. Um, I've known from representing a lot of clients over a lot of decades that people go to bed thinking about their cases, they dream about their cases, they wake up thinking about their cases, every meal they're thinking about their cases, and the judge is really the one who can shepherd them through and make the experience a positive one regardless of wins or losses, but to treat them fairly, to treat them respectfully, to, to give them the, the feel that they're going to be heard, they're going to have their opportunity to present their case, 
in front of somebody who will treat them well. And that's what I want this adventure to be. I want people to be less fearful. There's no way to eliminate all the fear, but less fearful about having to go to court. Uh, I want people to have a sense that the court is there for them and that the judge will make sure that they're taken care of. It is a scary thing. It is a scary well, thing. Well, in civil cases, they're very personal. Yes, that's absolutely true. I mean, those cases really do deal with property that people own and care about and who, you know, there's disputes about who the ownership is with. They involve cases where someone is accusing someone else of wrongdoing. The person who feels that they've been wronged really wants to see a remedy. The people who have been accused of being wrong really feel that they've been treated unfairly. So, I mean, you've got two diametric opposites, mm -hmm. but it really hits people where they live. It's, it's pretty important stuff. So I'm just kind of excited to be the, the person who... Could be very stressful. It, it will likely <laughs> be very stressful. You, but. you know, you're a easy-to-get-to-know person. And when that happens, when you're easy to get to know, it means you're approachable. It means you take things to heart, too. That is true. So. That is true. Mm. Okay, well, hopefully you won't see me in your court. <laughs> I just see, and everyone said that. We really want you to get the job. We don't ever we don't want, want to see, ever you, see do you. It. Yes. So. so that's exciting. And so um, the event is March 27th. That is next Tuesday, starting at 5 with Johnny and the Spensations over at Pacific Yard House, which is 101 Metcalf. It's, it's all good. They had a huge sign outside they there. They did. They did. They had a great big banner for me as yes, the people they did. walked into the I front door. I think that helped as well. No question. No oh question. Gosh. There's so many moving parts in the campaign. I mean, it's, it's just impossible to say what carried the day because it's just about 10,673 different things that all enter into the calculus. So, And the after party was really fun. Yes. Yes. <laughs> But definitely Pacific Yard House, yes. big shout out to them. They, Good for they them. were certainly helpful in my campaign. Good. Good. Uh, that's great. So, uh, funny thing, next week, next Monday, um, I will not be here, but there will be a guest host. And mm. Matt Beasley <laughs> will be the guest host. So, I really don't have any idea what's going to happen. <laughs> Well, that may be a reason for everyone to tune in. <laughs> That's right. You know, uh, and he's probably listening now, or he will be listening because he's going to kill it. Yeah, so, of course, uh, people know that uh, Matt Beasley uh, won for the Republicans at Justice of the Peace candidate, and he will be in the November election with the Democrat that yes. he is uh, running against. I don't know his name, but. Uh, his or her, it is a he, isn't it? It's actually a her. It is it a her? Okay, I okay. blew that, but that's okay. Okay, the person running against Matt Beasley for Justice of the Peace in Precinct 3. So uh, it could be very interesting because he told me some ideas of what he might have uh, as guests. So okay, people then. need to listen. <laughs> but uh, he's, he's great on the radio. Yep, Maybe he'll adventure. have you back on. I don't know. I don't know. I don't I, I'm not sure. <laughs> so um, we'll wait and see what goes on with that. Uh, that's all I have right now. Do you have anything? That's all you have. That's all I really. Yeah, that's it? I know. It's, well, okay. It's then. just so beautiful outside to look out the windows and uh, see this perfect weather. It really is just a beautiful day, and it looks like pollen season is starting to dissipate. To fade, yep, which is great. So we're in the in-between stage when all the festivals happen and all the fun things happen this Saturday. And, uh, you know, we'll just see how it goes. And then we get into the warmer weather. But we'll just wait and see and take it for what it is for right now. So uh, I'm your host, Margie Taylor. This is Kristen Bays, who will be judge of the 284th Court of Montgomery County. And she was a wonderful sponsor of this show. So tune in. Uh, and watch Conroe Culture News on Facebook to get a link of this show that we had today. That should be up by uh, Wednesday at some point. And uh, let me know if you want to be a guest on this show. Send me a note, margie at taylorizedpr.com. Y'all have a great day, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you for checking out this production of Lone Star Community Radio. 
Lone Star Community Radio is Montgomery County's community radio station. Don't forget to check out this show and many others across the Lone Star Community Radio Network. Either live on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1, the Lone Star Internet Radio app, or IRLoneStar.com's live audio stream. And on replay on podcast, Channel 12, Our City TV and Conroe, or Channel 21, KVQT in Houston, and of course, their YouTube channel. This production is copyrighted and all rights are reserved by Lone Star Community Radio. Have a question regarding this program or other Lone Star Community Radio shows? Want to sponsor or start your own show? Call the station message line at 936-647-3776 or email the station at lscrstudios at gmail.com.